Hello everyone, this is Farid Pramani once again and welcome to Ignite the Spark Motivational Series. So today's topic is very interesting. I was getting through a journal uh, and uh, the quotation exactly said that don't allow the voice of your fear to be louder than the other voices inside your head. What does this mean? Many of us Statistics says that 63% people live in any kind of fear. Either they have a fear for public speaking, I have the fear and difficulty in expressing their emotions in their relations. Either they have fear of expressing themselves in job, they work hard, but they don't have that strength or extrovertness to present themselves. Uh, this is the same thing which I realized in one of the empowerment sessions today. I do a close group of 300, 400 people motivational talk over zoom and we got across a gentleman at 73 who himself said that having lack of motivation in my life because being 73 i was thinking that how many more years are left what, what should i aim for but being part of that series a social project long story short he realized that what if i'll be living for next 23 28 years being 100 longevity is increasing and you know we all know that uh, keeping covid cases on side this bad time will also pass uh, god keeps us all in our blessings but the thing is lack of hope lack of fear what we have in there in my mind in our mind we always neglect that we don't hear those voices and the problem is there was a research done by stanford on 1170 people who were actually dying and they said that 91 percent of them regret that if we would have done something in our life that time we regret so that regret is always a problem because right now when you're listening to this video or any such motivational thing comes across you you don't take time and chance to do something which is in your control now you always miss either you think you are too old for that either you think what would others think about it either you think the time has passed either you start condemning that you don't have resources but the problem is a fear for others takes a priority over what voices are there in our head so i think the new year's has started it's 2021 if you're alive give pat on the back it's a blessing but think about something which you always wanted to do and day-to-day -day life has not allowed you or you have always kept that in back burner. This could be sport. This could be making yourself healthy. This could be losing 10 pounds. This could be starting your hobby which you could not afford that time but now you can. This could be anything. This could be starting your own business at 60s, 70s, you know. Maybe this time you are starting a business with a social cause, with more learnings, with your wisdom. So anything anything and everything is possible technology gives us this edge especially with this covid and lockdown there is a lot of blessings that everything is online you can reach the world at a glimpse of seconds so think about what was that burning desire which you always have kept on the back burner and i think this today's quote will help you so I will close with that. Don't allow voice of your fear to be louder than the other voices in your head. Let's focus our voices that are coming and bombarding us in our head for years. And let's take some time to devise an action plan and do that with full throttle. I hope this helps you. And trust me, if you focus on that inner voice, whatever you want to do, whether for pleasure, economic activity, helping anyone, your anxiety and depression which has been trapping you, you don't even have time for that. So hope this helps you. Once again, this is Farid Pramani with Ignite the Spark. Stay blessed.